Good morning. Thanks for joining us this Tuesday, June 21st, 2011. I'm Cameron Mitchell. A new report released by Northwestern University suggests that more parents need to encourage children to engage in activities such as playing with toys, interacting with other children outside, and other creative activities. The research, which was a first national study to focus exclusively on children's media usage by raising, raising ethnicity, is measured by how much media youth of color consume. The study findings revealed that young people of color are using an average of 13 hours of media a day, almost 4.5 more than their white counterparts. Studies have also found that television viewing and other forms of advertising are profoundly related to obesity in children, teens, and even adults. Newsbreak's Naomi Jones has a story on the National Science Foundation that is taking place on Clark Atlanta University's campus. Newsbreak 23 has more. The National Science Foundation hosts a summer program for high school students at Clark Atlanta University. The program takes place over a course of six weeks and exposes high school students to various scientific material. Graduate student Barrett shares what they learn while enrolled. Currently we're working with high school students, rising juniors and seniors, and we're exposing them to water disinfection and purification techniques. High school student Desmond Colley speaks on what is expected of students during the tenure of the program. They expect us to be at college level and um, I mean we are ready to embrace the challenge. It's not really that easy, especially when we have homework over the summer. Barrett elaborates on why it is important for students to attend the program. It brings to their attention um, environmental factors, specifically in, the, in our case, um, uh, water treatment and disinfection. For more information about this program, visit NSF.gov. I'm Naomi Jones, Newsbreak 23. Stay tuned, Newsbreak will return after these messages. What if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? familiar becomes anything but. Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov. According to the National Collegiate Athletic Association, a new wave of college football head coaching candidates are going to school this weekend. Seven African-American coaches, including three former NFL players, were participating Friday in the Champion Forum, the top tier of the NCAA's coaching academy during a week-long convention of the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics. The academy is a part of the NCAA's effort to increase the number of ethnic minorities in head coaching positions at the 583 institutions with football teams. The typical responsibilities of the, the, of the coaches include fundraising, budgeting, media, alumni and booster relations, compliance considerations, and managing a large staff. 23-year-old Morris Kunda Michael made the journey from the soccer fields of Kenya's refugee camp to the Ivy League. Michael graduated from Columbia's Fu Foundation School of Engineering with a bachelor's in sci of science in medical and bioengineering and hopes to continue his studies in medical school so he can use his education to help the people still living in the severe poverty he left behind. Surviving through a civil war, violence, famine, and disease, Morris and his family found refuge in Kenya's UN-sponsored refugee camp, where he began school for four hours a day, which led to his current college degree. Thanks for tuning in to CAU TV Newsbreak. If you have a story idea or comments, contact us at 404 Edit 08909. Remember to join us weekdays at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. on Comcast Channel 23. I'm Cameron Mitchell. Have a great day. Newsbreak is a production by CAU TV.